What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyro's Days is here, and uh, we are doing week four of our Patreon update. I'm finally saying it right. I'm so happy. Uh, so we're going to be doing kind of what we normally do. We're going to be talking about Patreon. We're going to be talking about the primary, well, not the primary channel anymore, TK Pyrostasis, which is the Let's Play channel. Used to be my primary channel. Now it's kind of a secondary channel. And then we're going to be talking about my main channel, which is TDK Minecraft, uh, kind of what you guys can expect over the next week. And uh, we'll just kind of go into things from there. So uh, let's go ahead and give our shout out to the new people who uh, have uh, become patrons on Patreon since last week's update. Now, um, kind of in fair disclosure, uh, the vid date I recorded the video and uploaded the video is the same date two of these people um, became patrons. So it's quite possible that they got a shout out last week and they're getting a double shout out. But you know what? A double shout out never hurt anybody, okay? So a uh, big shout out to Field of Violets, which I believe is Taka, I'm screwing up the name. Uh, hang on, let me, let me get it so I can actually see it. Hang on. Ta Takahashi. There we go. I'm hoping I'm doing that right. Probably not. I believe that's Field of Violets. Jason and Sally Safey. Somebody I haven't seen in a long time. So welcome back, madam. Welcome back. Um, all right. So uh, last week we had those three donors, which brings us up to a total of 21 total patrons and putting us at $420 a month, which I'm pretty sure some of you potheads are celebrating that right now. I mean, like there's fireworks going off, you're eating brownies, you're shoving some Funyuns in your mouth in celebration. Um, so if we could get it off 420, that would be great. Just, just, just help me out. Uh, we are $80 away from our next milestone. Uh, I did a poll uh, last week because I was worried... Uh, now that streaming isn't really a big part of what I do anymore, I was worried that some of you guys might not like that. Uh, so I give you guys the option of changing the first milestone because you know I want to make sure that you guys are getting something that you want uh, because you guys are paying for it. So I want to make sure that whatever you guys want is what you guys get. So we had 21 patrons when I made the poll. 14 of you came back and voted. So let's see, what is that percentage? Uh, where's my calculator? Uh, is it pulling up? There we go. 14 divided by 20 equals 70%. So 70% of you voted and it was 100% yes, keep the 20 hour streams. Awesome. Love that. That makes it very clear that the vast majority of you guys, at least the ones paying, want that. So we will be keeping the 20 hour live stream as the milestone. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up how that works in case you guys haven't seen the other videos. We will do two 20 hour live streams a month. Two, not three, not four, not one, two, okay? So now we may do some other live streams depending on my time. Uh, depending on how some things go over the next couple weeks, I may have more time. And if that's the case, we may do more. Um, it just kind of depends. It's gonna be one of those things that can just be completely open. Um, and we'll, we'll see what happens. But we are on the second to last week in October. So we've got uh, Friday this week is the 24th. Uh, Saturday is the 25th. Uh, next week is the 31st and then the 1st. So the way things work is we do the 20 hour live stream on either the first, uh, the, the first Friday or the first Saturday of the month. And then the second live stream is on the third Friday or Saturday. So this is kind of complicated because if we manage to hit $80 this month in this last, um, well, if we hit it in the next four days, then we would do a 20 hour live stream on the 24th and or 25th, one of those two. And then we would do the next one on the 7th or 8th of November because the first is technically the first Saturday, but that would be immediately after we did the other live stream, assuming we hit it this week. If we don't hit it this week, then it's up to you guys if you want it on Saturday or if you want it on the 7th. Uh, 7th would probably be better because, you know, Halloween, you guys are going to be out there, you know, doing whatever people do on Halloween. For whatever reason, Halloween's never been a big deal to me or my family, so we never do anything other than, like, you know, hate the kids that egg our house. That's, that's about it. So um, I'm looking for the 7th, unless you guys want a Halloween live stream. In which case, we could do that. For all the people who don't have parties to go to or things along those lines, we definitely could do that. Um, either is fine with me. Either is fine with me. I will probably give you guys a poll, just like I did with this one. You guys vote whether you want it on the 31st or you want it on the 7th. The only exception to that is if we hit 500 bucks this weekend, 
or before the 24th, then we will do it this weekend, then we will skip next weekend, and then we will do it again on the 7th, we will skip the following week, and we will do it again. So you will basically get 60 hours of live streaming in one, two, three, four, five weeks. That's a lot. That's a lot. So kind of up to you guys. Kind of up to you guys. Now, one of the other things I wanted to point out is our big Patreon goal at the moment is the $1,200 Skyrim series reboot. Now, my, my, my Let's Play channel used to be a big deal. Uh, that was what started me on YouTube. That was pretty much my premier flagship content system. Um, uh, over time, Minecraft has just crushed it completely like it's not even close so with minecraft being the premiere i thought maybe you guys would like something other than skyrim as a series reboot for the 1200 so i will most likely be making a poll sometime this week and see if you guys would like an alternative uh to that one i'll throw a couple ideas your way and then uh we'll we'll kind of go from there what we'll probably do first is we'll do a yay or nay poll and if the nays win then we'll do a poll, you know, you guys can give me some feedback and then we'll do a poll based on what you guys like once we get a little closer to that goal. Um, but like I said, you know, once you guys, you guys are paying for this, this is content direct to you guys. So I want to make sure that you guys are getting something that you want and, you know, I want to keep you guys happy because if you guys aren't happy, then I'm going to be miserable. So that's just how it works. So, uh, but that's, that's a little far out. That's a little far out. Let's hit the 500 first and we can start planning on the next goal. So, um, but that's that's where we're at so far with uh, Patreon this month. It's looking like we're going to do pretty good. I would really like to pop that uh, milestone before the end of the month. We are only eighty dollars away. So if uh, if you guys would like to do that, then head on over to patreoncom forward slash pyrostasis. You can also find the link in the video description below or at the end of this video. There will be an annotation if you're not on mobile. If you're on mobile, unfortunately, you just see pretty icons and you can't click on them like you can on desktop. So you'll have to find it in the description below or just enter patreon.com forward slash pyrostasis and it will get you there and uh, you can you can become a patron if you so choose. Never feel like you have to, but uh, if, you, if you choose to, it is always greatly appreciated. That basically goes directly to paying my bills, um, you know, rent, food, things along those lines. I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, snorting blow off hookers backsides or anything like that. We are definitely not balling at that level. That is, uh, that is literally the keep pyro from living under a bridge fund, pretty much. <laughs> So, um, like I said, you know, if you want to, if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to, and I will do my best to make it worth you guys as well. All right. So let's do some channel updates. We're going to start with the let's play channel. Now the let's play channel, there is some interesting stuff because this last weekend was basically the first, what do you call it? It's the first, uh, full month that I haven't been live streaming. So this has been basically 100% focus on YouTube, um, my content has, the, the quality in my opinion has increased, the amount of fun that I've been having has increased, etc., etc. So to give you guys an idea on where we are at, let me show you my Let's Play channel. Now I have done, let's see, we did Dark Souls, we did Elite, what else did we do on the main channel this month? Let me see. We did Dark Souls, we did Elite, we did Evil Within, uh, Evil Within is doing really good, and we did Destiny. Uh, we were going to do Shadows of Mordor, but unfortunately they were content matching everything, so I couldn't. And Alien Isolation wanted to do that as well, but uh, they have a very strict policy as well. Um, not quite as nasty uh, on the content matching, but Sega has a tendency to strike, just straight up jack you. So that's, that's not good. That's not good. So kind of one of those things I was a little worried about. So let me show you guys a couple little graphics here. A couple little graphics. All right, so... These are the top videos on my channel for this last month on the Let's Play channel. Let's see if I can get this to you guys. Uh, let's see. Is there a monitor option? Do I still have it? Okay. I think it's right here. Make sure everything's cool. Nope. That's not. Oh, well, yeah, I guess it isn't going to pop up because it's. Uh... There we go. All right. So you guys are seeing this. This right here is my top videos. For the month, you can see not a single video broke 1600 other than Skyrim. So Skyrim, 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 Elder Scrolls Online, Skyrim, 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 Skyrim. These are the top videos, okay? That's kind of disappointing. That's kind of disappointing because it basically tells me that you guys 
aren't really enjoying the LP content, which, I mean, it's perfectly fine. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, and I mean, obviously there are those of you who do like it, but the issue is uh, really mainly just the fact that um, uh, it's, it's not going in the right direction, basically. It's kind of just stagnating. So this is the monthly poll based on growth. Now, what this basically shows is you're trending it basically shows whether you're moving in a positive direction or a negative direction and whether you're having positive growth or you're having negative growth. And this is really sad. This is really sad. So we're going to show you guys this real quick. Let me get this pulled up. I got to take a couple photos real quick. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let me drag this over real quick. All right. So this graph right here is my let's play channel as well. So this is the 0%. Okay. So this is Saturday, this is Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, actually, no, this will be probably Saturday right here. So you can see we are actually dropping. Somehow I have focused on Let's Play content and we are going in the wrong direction. We are down almost 40% on views, okay? That's bad. That's really bad. That's basically... I spent a month throwing content at that channel and we lost progress. So that's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So the issues that we run into with that is let's plays are very hard to, to pull views with, um, because the market's so saturated. So I'm competing with a bunch of other people who are doing just what I'm doing, except they have bigger audiences. So, you know, when a new game comes out, people are hitting, you know, S O what is that guy? S S H O P C K or whatever his name is. Uh, there's just a lot of other really large YouTubers with millions of subscribers that, that kind of saturate the market. They get the games really early. They upload really quickly and uh it just kind of kills it uh so it's very hard for somebody of my size to compete with those guys in search and that's where people find your games so you know when people want to watch a video they go to youtube and they type evil within hit enter and then you look and you're not going to find my videos on there you know you look destiny i'm not going to be there and so that makes it very hard for me to get noticed now the people who find my content my content holds up pretty well it's really good stuff. I like my content. I think my content's funny. I think people enjoy my content. It's just getting people to find my content. And that's the, that's the difficult thing. Now, you guys can help with that. You guys can help with that. Some of the ways you guys can help with that is by doing uh, liking and favoriting and sharing. Okay? If you share it, every time you click share, it goes out to your social networks, whether you're connected on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, etc., that allows you to, you know, other people to see it. So let me let me show you how many shares we got for the month of um, for the month of September slash October. Okay, these are people who liked my content enough to share with other people. Okay, and this is this is kind of sad. <laughs> Here we go. We had two two people two people click the share button. Now we did have twenty one hundred likes. That's good. That's 2,100 people that click the like button. Now, if you're connected with Twitter or if you're connected with Facebook, um, just clicking the like button will um, will send it out there. So that's, that's nice. That definitely, it, it kind of works as a share. And you can see our likes are up pretty good. You can see that, I mean, it's kind of hard. Let me, let me pull a, bitter, a better version of that up so you guys can see it a little bit better. A little bit better. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. Here we go. Doing a lot of math here for those of you guys who are curious about this stuff. All right, let me drag that over. Bam. So you can see this is kind of where we started. We were down here at 40 likes and then we spiked to 120 and then we kind of had a meh period and now we're getting back up to a little bit higher than 120. So this is actually good. This shows the people that are actually on my channel are enjoying it. You know, the people that actually find me are enjoying what they're seeing. It's just getting it out there. So, um, you know, if you like something, hit the like button. It takes you like a fraction of a second to click it. Uh, you know, if you want to help out, you can share it. Uh, throw it out on your Twitter. The more people that see my content, the better. Uh, every time it's shared on Twitter or, you know, one of those things, then it's another search result. It's another backlink. And uh, it helps kind of aggregately push my content up to the forefront. So all of that stuff helps. The other thing, watch the content all the way through. 
watch the content all the way through. Uh, if you if you watch the first like 30 seconds or so like that, that actually kind of plays the, the negative. Looking at my videos right here, at least for the month, um, <laughs> My retention rate is basically the average person watches only 35% of the videos on my Let's Play channel, and they only watch eight minutes and 48 seconds, and then they're off. So considering the average video is 30 minutes long on my channel, it kind of gives you an idea. So that's not necessarily meaning that the content isn't good because most people don't hang around and watch the whole video uh, because you're busy. You know, you're watching in between classes, you're watching while you're in the bathroom, you're watching while you're driving to wherever. Well, being driven, hopefully, hopefully you're not watching while you're driving. Um, you know, not everybody has 30 minutes, an hour, 45 minutes or whatever to watch the whole clip. But it is one of the big things that, that YouTube takes a look at. So because of this, I am considering changing the Let's Play channel. And this is kind of scary because I love that channel. That channel is what started me on YouTube. It, uh, it was a lot of fun. But what I've been doing for the last year, just it, it's not working. It's not working now. If I kept at it for a year, it's possible we might finally gain enough traction. We might move forward. But um, it, it might not. It might take another two years before I get traction on that channel. And that's a lot of time that I have to put into a channel that's just growing very, very, very slowly. And in some cases, declining. So some of the thoughts, I can just scrap the channel. I leave it there. You know, I'm not going to shut it down. I'm just going to leave it there. But then we focus 100% on the Minecraft channel. Now, some of the changes that would mean is 100% of my focus would be there. So we would see, you know, even more content than we've got now. And you would see some alternate content like, um, I might work in some more survival games and things along those lines. Uh, and when I say survival games, I mean things like Life is Feudal, Space Engineers, uh, things along those lines. Um, other than that, it would pretty much be the same. You would just lose a channel. Because I'm already pushing, I think, three series to my Minecraft channel. I can't push like five or six because at some point people are only able to watch so many videos a day. So if you're putting seven videos out a day... It's a little too much. You eventually reach a point of diminishing returns where not everybody can watch everything. So uh, some of the other options is I can go back to tips and tricks. Now, like I said, my top videos, let me show you what my top videos again for the month are. Uh, my Let's Play Assassin is uh, is a really good one. Uh, Hearthstone, how to get Sun Locks. Skyrim Redone, tons of mods. Um, how to get Danger Heart quickly, how to clear your bounty. Uh, how to become a vampire, where to get ebony ingots, etc. So all of my tips and tricks videos for Skyrim are still pulling really good. And that's because they search well. When you come to YouTube, you're looking for one of these solutions. It's like, you know, how do I get past this? And then you look it up, you find a video, you watch it, thank you, and then you move on. The problem with focusing on those types of videos is, number one, you can't do a video every day. Number two, there's not a whole lot of entertainment value there. It's just educational. So while you do grow, it's a different kind of viewer base. So it's mainly you're, you're providing instructions and things along those lines, and you're not necessarily interacting on, it, on the level that we interact with now. So I sometimes like to call that soulless content because you're just basically doing content for views and the interaction with the player or the viewer is minimal. I, I don't want to do that, but um, what I'm doing is not working. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm covering the big games. I'm covering things consistently now, uh, with the exception of Dark Souls 2, which kind of got kicked to the back burner. Uh, some of the other alternatives are I can kind of switch content around and we can do things that are different, like strategy games or things along those lines. Uh, I can try those. They're just hit and miss. So the market's a lot easier to get into those uh, because obviously not as many people are playing Civilization or uh, Plague Inc. or, you know, some of the 4x4 four four games, 4x games. Um, so there's a lot easier chance to get into those. So I'm not sure. I'm going to finish my series that I've got going now. We are going to finish Evil Within. I'm going to record that today. Uh, we are going to probably finish the Dark Souls 2 Let's Play as long as views stay good. Um, and we'll just kind of see how things go. We'll kind of see how things go. Civilization 4, or not 4, Civilization... It, oh, fuck, I don't remember the name. It's the space one. That comes out this week. Uh, I will probably do a Let's Play on that, and we'll see how that goes. If that pulls good, we'll, we'll, we'll run with it. I am liking the way Evil Within is pulling. Evil Within is pulling more than any of my other uh, videos for the month. 
So we, we almost broke a thousand on the first one. So for me, that's pretty good. So we'll, we'll just kind of see. I just wanted to kind of warn you guys that if things kind of keep going the way they're going, we're going to have to make a change and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Now let's talk about some positive stuff. Let me switch channels real quick. Let me switch channels. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft is doing amazingly well. Um, I actually got a notification from YouTube that uh, my Mad Pack series has gotten more likes in its first seven days than any of my other videos from the last six months. That means that video is more popular than any of the other videos I've done for the last six months, which is kind of scary, but at the same time, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So to give you guys kind of a, a viewpoint on where this channel is, let me go ahead and take another snap. Now, this is the same growth graph that I showed you guys before. And this one looks a little funny because it's got spikes, but you can still see a trend. So let me pull this over real quick. All right. Uh, let me show you the other one. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So this is the Minecraft graph. Now you can see we still have some negative trends here, but we've got a positive growth, another positive growth, another positive growth, and then this is Saturday, so we ought to be getting another spike up here. This point right here is the equivalent of this point and this point, so you can kind of see the trend is to just keep right on rolling up. Compare this to the Let's Play channel. Okay, Let's Play, Minecraft. Let's Play, Minecraft. Kind of a big change. Kind of a big change. So that one's heading in the positive direction. That one is growing. Uh, people are enjoying it. We are getting uh, really decent views. Um, contrary to the other one, I have in my top video list there, I have my Mad Pack series. I have Life is Futile. I have Mod Sauce. Uh, that lets me know that you guys are liking the content I'm doing enough to bring it up to the top. So that's a good sign. Uh, we had five shares on there. So you know, still not so good. The likes, though, the likes are where you can really see the growth. Uh, let me let me show you guys this. This is kind of this is kind of awesome. I really like this. We had twenty eight hundred likes here, and you can really see the improvement. Let me get this drug over real fast. This right here is amazing. Uh, let me find the other. Did I do likes on the other one? I don't think I did likes on the other one. Right here. Boom. You see, we had fifty likes, a hundred likes. You know, 125, 150, uh, almost 200, and we're just climbing. This is this is a good graph here. So it's showing me that you guys are really enjoying the Minecraft content, which makes sense. I mean, that's that's why. I mean, last year when we started streaming again, Minecraft is what got me partnered on Twitch. Minecraft has you guys have pretty much universally let me know that you enjoy my Minecraft far, far more than you enjoy my Let's Play channel. And part of that is primarily the search. It is very easy for me to get search traffic on Minecraft. Very easy. I can do it all day long. It's a layup. It's just boom, just dropping bombs. No problem. Uh, on my Let's Play channel, it's almost impossible. It is almost impossible because, you know, as soon as a new game comes out, there's a million people on YouTube doing it. Whereas, you know, on Minecraft, I can get those little niches, those little niches. So for instance, just to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Here we go. This right here is a search I just did for Mad Pack. And this is the search Mad Pack 2 Hardcore. This is me. 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 And you guys can just kind of see I own Mad Pack 2 Hardcore. Now let's do Evil Within. If we do Evil Within, I'm not even on here. I'm not even on here. Not even on the page. Let's, let's see, are we on page two? Nope. Are we on page three? Nope. Now what I can try is, let's say Evil Within, chap chapter one whoops let's try that let's see if we pop up here evil within chapter one not even on the first page we'll see if we're on the second page evil within not even on the second page maybe the third page and you kind of get a feel for it so you can kind of see that you know I'm gonna be probably somewhere on the neighborhood of the fourth or fifth or maybe even the seventh page 
and it kind of gives you an idea of how deep my content is hidden compared to some of these other guys. Yeah, I can't even find my video. So, uh, but, you know, like I said, you do, where is it? Mad Pack 2 Hardcore. And boom. Uh, and I don't know if I show up in just Mad Pack 2. I don't think, yeah, I do. Even here, just Mad Pack 2. I'm on the front page. You know, yeah, I'm not the top, but I'm on the front page. So that gives you an idea of how much easier it is for me to get credits on uh, on Minecraft. I can show up in the search results. I can I can I can compete. Whereas in my Let's Play content, <laughs> it's just not happening, man. So um, you know, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because you know I can target it in specific ways to where I will show up in chat or in search, but I have to I have to target specific things like you know, how to beat X in chapter one or how to beat Y in chapter two. And those titles, um, for it to be legit, it has to be a shorter video and has to be focused around just that specific point. And that kind of leads to basically me just showing you guys how to beat certain things. And while that's helpful and it's fun, it's it's just not the most entertaining of setups. So uh, that's that's kind of where we're at with the two channels. Uh, Mad Pack's doing great on uh, my YouTube channel or on my Minecraft channel. I just recorded five new episodes. Those are encoding right now. They will be up probably tonight at six and all week at six. I will be recording Techromancer with Arthanon and a few others this week. You will get at least four or five episodes of that. And then I'll be recording Mod Sauce as well. You guys should be getting a pretty decent burst of that as well. So those are the three main series that I'm going to be doing right now on that channel. Uh, Life is Feudal, um, that's doing kind of mediocre. Uh, I mean, the life, the, the life is Feudal videos, now maybe because we haven't really done anything yet, but Life is Feudal is pulling about 500 to 600 views, whereas Mad Pack's pulling 1,500, uh, Mod Sauce is pulling 1,000, Techromancer is pulling about 1,000. So it, it just kind of tells me you guys really aren't digging Life is Feudal all that much. So um, we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, I may start a Space Engineers series. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for that. I think Space Engineers is a good fit for the channel. I think that'll be fun. Um, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Whether it sticks around or doesn't is completely up to you guys. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys that update, kind of show you where we're at, um, let you guys kind of know what's working, what's not working. So definitely Minecraft channel is going to keep growing, keep doing what it's doing. If we don't see a pickup in the Let's Play channel, then we may switch it back to a tips and trick channel. We may try strategy games, uh, or I may just say screw it and focus 100% on what's working because, uh, you know, I want, I want to be able to keep doing what I'm doing. And the last six months with, you know, the whole fiasco of me trying to make streaming work full time and giving up on YouTube uh, has really set me back. So I've kind of got to dig back out of that and I got to do it quickly. And so, you know, Patreon is one of the ways it's kind of a stopgap for that until the YouTube comes back up. But, uh, you know, I've got to focus on what works and kind of ditch what doesn't work. So, um, you know, it's kind of up to you guys. You guys support what you guys like and what you guys watch and what you guys view is what I can keep covering. So... You know, let me know by clicking the like button. Let me know by interacting with me in chat. If you guys got ideas, I'm definitely down for ideas. Um, but I pretty much know why things aren't working. You know, I pretty much know what will work. And as much as I would like to make Let's Plays work, uh, I may not be able to pull it off. I may not be able to pull it off just because of the search ranks. So it is what it is. We may try and do a hybridization where I cover one Let's Play at a time and then I do tips and tricks based on that Let's Play. Uh, that'll pull people in and it will also allow me to continue with the content. It just means you guys are only going to have one series at a time. So it'll slow the content down a little bit, a little bit, but it may keep the Let's Play channel on the, on the program. So... We'll see how things go. I'm still trying to figure it out, trying to decide what I want to do and, and where I want to spend my time and what I want to what I want to focus on. So uh, we are once again very close to that 500 goal on Patreon. I would really love it if we could knock that out before the end of the month. Um, and you know, keep in mind there are some nice perks for being a Patreon member. Uh, I will probably be updating those this week as I have time. We are also going to be launching the beta of the prison server this weekend, so that will be cool. Once I get that set up, we will be starting a prison series on my own prison server, which will be kind of interesting. It'll be kind of interesting. So, anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for week four of the Patreon update. Uh, I'll get this tossed up hopefully by the end of the day, and. Uh, 
hopefully I can remember to get the next one week five up on Friday as opposed to on Monday. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So that's my goal. Sorry that we got rid of the green screen. It just looks better without it. It's it hates me. So uh, I'm probably going to take it down and put some actual stuff on the walls. The walls are awfully white in here and I'd kind of like to have something on the walls. So we'll see if you guys got any cool gaming poster ideas or anything along those lines let me know let me know all right guys that's going to do it for this week hope you guys like this video if you did slap that like button make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next clip